Hey, what's up everybody? Jump in here, and today I'm actually on some Mass Effect 3. It's been a while, but I decided to hop on this game and play with my friends. I've been noticing my friends have been playing this game more and more. I think it's because it's the summertime, and there really hasn't been too many games that have came out. Now, I'm actually really excited for the new Splinter Cell game, but I'll get into that in a moment. The first thing I need to talk about is I'm using the Asari Valkyrie with the Collector SMG. Now, I decided to go ahead and talk about the Collector SMG slightly because I'm pretty sure most people still believe that I hate the gun. And that is not the case. I actually really like this gun. Now, I gotta be honest, back when I made my joke videos about this gun, I had it at a really low level. I'm talking about like level 1, level 3, and it was really bad. When this gun is at a low level, the ammo is just terrible and it's really annoying to use because you constantly have to regen the ammo. It's a nightmare. But once you increase the level to this gun and the ammo capacity actually goes up, it becomes so much better. I would say about level 5 is when it becomes really good. And at that point, I started to use it more and more and I actually fell in love with it. If I'm going to use a caster or really anyone like that, I will probably use the Collector SMG. I have a lot of fun using it. Now, the Hurricane is still better, but I would have to say that the second best SMG in Mass Effect is the Collector SMG. I like it a lot. So, that's the way I really feel about the gun. Like I said, when I made those joke videos, that was back in the day when I had it at a really low level, and I did not like the gun back then. But as I increased the level, I think it's at level 7 right now, I really like it. It's a lot of fun to use. And I always find it so funny because when I do use it, people always think I'm trolling or I'm bullshitting. They don't understand why I'm using the gun. And they'll ask me, like, what gun do you think I should use? And I'll say, use the Collector SMG. And they always think I'm trolling them. But the truth of the matter is, I really do like this gun. And if you have it, you should use it. But at the lower levels, don't touch it. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about something else. Alright, moving on, the next thing I wanted to talk about is the Xbox One. Now, it's been a while since I came out with a video about Xbox One. And the reason for that is because, to be honest, I have been happy with Microsoft. Like, I think they're doing a lot of great things. They have changed almost every single policy that they had. I mean, it's kind of crazy. You should definitely call the Xbox One the Xbox 180 because they have changed literally almost every policy. Now, the newest one is the Connect. They have now made it so that you do not have to have the Connect connected anymore. And that's great. I'm really happy about that because that was one thing that really bugged me. I don't like the Connect. I wasn't one of these people that was thinking that, you know, it was going to spy on me. I just don't like it. So if I was to buy an Xbox One, I wouldn't even want to use it. I would probably just want to throw it in the closet or just put it away, which is something that now you can do. So I'm really happy about that, but what I don't understand is why do you still have to buy the damn thing? If you don't have to have it connected, they should definitely come out with a bundle or something that doesn't include the Connect at all. You don't need it. So I don't really get that. And I know there were some rumors that came out a while ago that was talking about how the Xbox One was going to have different bundles in 2014. And one of the bundles was not going to come with the Connect, you know, whatever. And then later on, that was pretty much dispelled. They, I think, make, made a statement and said that was totally wrong, that was incorrect. But who knows, maybe looking back at that now... Maybe there was some truth to that because just like two weeks later, they announced that you don't have to have the Connect connected anymore. So hopefully they will go ahead and change, uh, you know, come out with another bundle and people can save some money if you don't want that damn thing. Now there was one other thing I wanted to bring up with the next-gen consoles and this affect the PlayStation 4 as well. And I've been really worried about this and I'll get to that in a moment. But what I've been hearing is that the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are going to be HDMI only. Now, if that's the case, I have to be honest, I like HDMI a lot. I used to use it when I played Mass Effect 2, and I have to say that it was amazing. The graphics were so much better using HDMI than just standard HD. So I think that's pretty cool that they're pretty much enforcing this, but... 
I've been talking to a couple of my friends, and I told them that, and some of my friends have been saying, well, shit, I don't have an HDMI port on my TV. So if that's the case, then that would mean that you might have to buy a whole new TV, which would be terrible. I mean, who wants to spend more money? And I'm sure that there's a lot of people that actually do not have an HDMI port. So who knows? Like, I think that that's really bad for certain people. But what I've heard about PlayStation 4, and I've also heard this about Xbox One, so I don't know what to believe. Maybe you guys can tell me and put my mind at ease because it's been really freaking me out. But what I've heard is that they're going to, these H, because they're HDMI only, they're going to be using a certain HDMI cord that is copyrighted. And when, what that means is that if you're trying to record with a device like I do, it will detect that device and you will not be able to record. Now that's terrible if that's the case. And I'm really worried about that because right now, to my knowledge, there is no device that can get past that. Maybe they can come out with a converter. Maybe someone will come out with a device later on that will allow you to record. I don't really know. But right now, I have to be honest, if that is the case where if I buy a PlayStation 4, I can't record the games, or if I buy an Xbox One, I can't record, that's going to make me go to PC. I mean, right now, my computer is pretty good, like operating-wise. I can easily run a game at full speed and be okay. The only thing I would have to invest in is a better video card, which really wouldn't cost me all that much. I'd probably spend like two, three hundred dollars on it, and that's actually cheaper than buying a PlayStation 4. See, I would probably buy like a really good video card because I know graphics are really important. I don't really personally care about graphics, but if I'm recording and stuff, I want my graphics to be really nice for the people watching my videos. So I don't know. You guys tell me, like, what do you know about this whole HDMI thing, about this whole copyrighted thing? Is this a rumor, or is this true? And if it is true, what does that mean? It's freaking me out, I have to be honest. But Alright, so that's pretty much it about PlayStation and Xbox One. That's the only thing I really needed to talk about. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on. So there's one last thing I wanted to talk about, and then I'll probably just go ahead and let the video play out, because I thought this game was really good. You tell me, though. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about was Splinter Cell Blacklisted. I'm actually really excited for that game. Now, when I originally heard about the game, I, you know, right away I was really excited because I love Splinter Cell. I've played every Splinter Cell from, since the beginning. But then I heard that they replaced Michael Ironside, and that was like, oh no. Like, that is the voice of Sam Fisher. And Sam Fisher is one of my favorite video game characters of all time. And I would have to give credit to Michael Ironside for that. I think he's a terrific voice actor, and I think that he does a wonderful job with Sam Fisher. So when I heard that they replaced him, right away I was thinking, you know what? I don't even want to play the game if that's the case. But then... I've been looking at the game, and the campaign looks really cool. They have the co-op, but they are also bringing back Mercs vs. Spies. Now, in Splinter Cell 2, they had Mercs vs. Spies, and it was awesome. It was an incredible multiplayer. I had a lot of fun with it, and there was a really good community that actually played it. So I'm really excited about that, and to be honest, I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy the game. So what I want to know is... Do you want to see that? Do you want to see some campaign stuff, some co-op stuff, and then eventually some multiplayer stuff? Because I'm totally willing to do that. And I also want to know how you feel about this whole Splinter Cell game. Are you excited for it? To my knowledge, it's like the only game coming out that looks kind of good, at least to me. Like, I know there's other games probably coming out, but I'm just not interested. And this whole summer has been so slow because there hasn't been really any new games coming out that are just, like, you know, fantastic. I think the best game that has come out is The Last of Us, which was PlayStation 3, and I wasn't able to play it, which is a total bummer because that game is incredible. So let me know, do you want to see Splinter Cell? And also, please, let me know how you feel about the Kinect. Are you excited about that? Do you think that they'll probably come out with another bundle because of this whole you don't have to have it connected thing anymore? Also, let me know how you feel about this whole HDMI thing 
And what do you know about it? Do you know about this copyrighted HDMI cord? Is this a rumor? Is this true? Is it for Xbox One and PlayStation 4? Or is it just PlayStation 4? I really don't know. But like I said, it's freaking me out. And I would really appreciate it if you have any knowledge to let me know what you know. Because it sucks, okay? It really does. So that's pretty much it. Like, let me know about everything I asked, and yeah, you guys have a fantastic day. Be sure to like the video and favorite it for me, and that's it. So, peace out.